What's up guys, Super Duckman24 here. It is Saturday, September 2nd, 2023, and the Conrail Heritage Unit 1976 is on M363 today and is headed this way. So, naturally, my friend up in Muncie, Zach Reno, Hopefully he sees this video because he's been a huge help with me catching these heritage locomotives. Alerted me that it was going through Muncie not too long ago. And I was finishing something up and came over to the track. So it's been about a good 20 minutes since he last messaged me. So it's got to be close, I would say. If not going to on the outskirts of Anderson, it's got to be close. So, if it wasn't for the fact that uh, Fortville had um, all the road construction, I would try to go catch it up in Ingalls, but don't want to risk it. I'm not going to chase it downtown today. I'm just going to get it going by. Got my GoPro ready. So, any second now. I would say it should be getting close. I just gotta figure out a good shot for the GoPro. It has a little mini tripod, so I'm thinking using this Ford Ranger and just bam, get a good shot right there. That's my what I, I might end up doing. So. Okay. I'll keep you guys posted. Still no sign of MC363, but I just wanted to show you. I think this ranger's been sitting here a while because I don't know how long it's got to sit for weeds to be growing out of these bags. So, but it's not my truck, so. Still nothing, but he's got to be getting closer now. Got my GoPro all set up. All I gotta do is turn it on. One thing I love about these GoPros is they have the quick on. You just hit the record button. It fires up and starts recording. And then as soon as you hit stop recording, finishes, saves it, and shuts off. It's a nice little feature. So. Any minute now, I would have to say. Just a little after 1.30, and I'm seeing lights. Hard to see, but he's coming. That's him, all right. I actually migrated down with the GoPro to get a cooler action shot. Nothing against the truck, but want to see what it would look like especially with the fish islands so trying to time it because I don't the battery is still in there for the long cutting videos and it's at 18% so I gotta be smart on when I start the camera because I want to make sure I get that good shot okay. you know I hope this works There it goes, camera's recording. I'm like double timing my walk. <laughs> This is definitely no distance signal or jaw tooth video. <laughs> I'll never be as good as them or delay and block like all those guys. Oh no, I'll never be as good as them. Okay, that crossing's activated. He's on this track. He's on track two. Make sure I keep a good distance.
That's a good distance, I would think. That does not sound like, it sounds like a Mac. It is. Cool. Okay, so I was not expecting that. That was a awesome bonus. I thought that was it. So M363 must be behind this one. Cause well, when I heard the horn, I'm like, that sounds like a Mac. That doesn't sound like a, like the GE horn that it has. So I'm gonna go back over here to where my GoPro is. Quickly shut it off. I hope it has enough juice to get M363. So that's, I haven't caught a coal train in a while. That's awesome. Nice horn. Oh man. Okay. Oh man, I'm, I can't wait to check out the foot, like review the footage. It's got 13%, so that should be enough. Okay. So hopefully M363 is next. So my friend Zach Reno, who's up in Muncie, informed me that the coal train was E885. So that was an awesome bonus to the video. And Zach, if you're watching this again, buddy, dude, you are awesome for helping me with this. You like my go-to person when it comes to train stuff. Because he knows just about everything like 
what train it is and he'll give me a heads up man Zach you are awesome man so thank you thank you thank you thank you the M363 is behind this one so it's, it's coming it's coming I see lights I see light and that's got to be M363 So we got to see E885. And now here comes M363. A two for one. I'll take it. Okay. It has enough juice. Here we go. Heard the beeps. Yeah, this is definitely not like jaw tooth or delay and block or distance signal. This is definitely Super Duck Man. <laughs> 24. See the lights. There's the headlights. Give myself enough time to get over. What track's he on? He's on this track. So he'll be track number two. Same track that E885 was on. Okay. Oh. Mm. Trex barbecue is right over here and oh my gosh it smells amazing okay here we go
Sweet. What? Well, I was definitely not expecting that. Talk about added bonus, double added bonus. That caught me off guard. I wonder if the GoPro had enough battery. Let's find out. Survey says it did. Hot dog. How much battery did it have? Oh, low battery icon. Um, come on. Five percent battery on the last bit of battery. It got it. Awesome. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. I don't care if this makes me look like a foamer. That was awesome. Three trains in one video. It's going to be a great Labor Day video. Man, I'm on cloud night right now. Only thing that would make this day better if, is if Union Pacific 1996 went through. That's on my bucket list of locomotives to catch. So. Well, guys. That's the end of this video, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace out for now.